Andrew, I want to be your best friend. I desire with all of my heart to be your favorite person. I think I'm well on my way, but I know, I know what would help is that I offer you unconditional respect. I commit to loving you, supporting you, and following you no matter what. I will dream with you, I will adventure with you, and I will work hard with you. I will work to get better at surfing for you, <laughs> so I can surf with you, and I will work at planning less and going with the flow more. <laughs> but Andrew, most importantly, I commit to worshiping Jesus daily, seeking the Lord's voice and relentlessly interceding for you in our future. I will pray that you are like a tree firmly planted with roots so deep that nothing can threaten you. I will pray that the Lord will bless you and that you'll prosper in all that you put your hands to. I love you, Andrew, and I promise to be yours. When Courtney and I first met, I was kind of in this mindset uh, that girls were bad news. Especially church girls. I was trying to seek God and put Him first in my life and trying to know and understand the purpose and plan that He had for me. And of course at church, just about every girl is praying for a single Christian husband. Uh, so then one day I go to life group and there's this blonde haired, blue eyed beauty from Oklahoma. <laughs> And over the next few months, I got to know Courtney as a friend at church and at life group. I got to study her and began to see her heart. She was passionate about seeking Jesus and putting God first in her life. I saw that her prayers were authentic, powerful, and a little bit intimidating. I started to see Courtney as a powerful intercessor in spirit, and that she had a heart of compassion and genuine concern for others. I started thinking, this chick's kind of gnarly. <laughs> and my heart started growing more and more fond of hers. I became attracted to her in a way that I never knew existed. But I was still conflicted because I wanted to stay true to God, but I couldn't stop thinking about how rad Courtney Jacobson was. And I prayed about it constantly. And I told God all the reasons why I could never date Courtney Jacobson. <laughs> then one day, after about three months, the Lord hit me with a revelation, and it was this. God had created me and put into my DNA to love, serve, and support a woman. I was not called to be single. So the next morning, I asked God, am I supposed to date Courtney Jacobson? And that morning, I was... Uh, in my Bible reading, I was on Proverbs 31. <laughs> which says, Who can find a virtuous wife? For her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her. So he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. I knew at that moment that Courtney was this woman. And I knew that I would not only date Courtney, but that one day she would be my wife. So here we are today, fulfilling the promise of God to me from almost two and a half years ago. Knowing not only that it is God's purpose and plan that we should be married, but knowing and trusting that He has an awesome purpose and plan for our future as we put Him first in our marriage. So I vow to you, Courtney, today, to serve and support you, to unconditionally love you, and to lay down my life for you. And when I fail, I will ask for your forgiveness. I will learn from my mistakes. And I continue to serve, support, love, and lay down my life for you for the rest of my life.